In network science, reciprocity is a measure of the likelihood of vertices in a directed network to be mutually linked. Like the clustering coefficient, scale-free degree distribution, or community structure, reciprocity is a quantitative measure used to study complex networks. Motivation <inaudible> 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 In real network problems, people are interested in determining the likelihood of occurring double links with opposite directions between vertex pairs. This problem is fundamental for several reasons. First, in the networks that transport information or material such as email networks, World Wide Web WWW, World Trade Web, or Wikipedia, mutual links facilitate the transportation process. Second, when analyzing directed networks, people often treat them as undirected ones for simplicity, therefore, the information obtained from reciprocity studies helps to estimation the error introduced when a directed network is treated as undirected for example, when measuring the clustering coefficient. Finally, detecting non-trivial patterns of reciprocity can reveal possible mechanisms and organizing principles that shape the observed network's topology. How is it defined? Topic traditional definition A traditional way to define the reciprocity R is using the ratio of the number of links pointing in both directions L minus greater than L to the total number of links L R equals L minus greater than L R equals frac L carrot L with this definition, R equals one display style R equals one is for a purely bidirectional network while R equals zero display style R equals zero for a purely Purely unidirectional one. Real networks have an intermediate value between 0 and 1. However, this definition of reciprocity has some defects. It cannot tell the relative difference of reciprocity compared with purely random network with the same number of vertices and edges. The useful information from reciprocity is not the value itself, but whether mutual links occur more or less often than expected by chance. Besides, in those networks containing self-linking loops links starting and ending at the same vertex, the self-linking loops should be excluded when calculating L. <laughs> Gala-Shelley and Lofredo's definition In order to overcome the defects of the above definition, Gala-Shelley and Lofredo defined reciprocity as the correlation coefficient between the entries of the adjacency matrix of a directed graph A I J equals 1 display style or underscore I J equals 1 if a link from I to J is there and A I J equals zero. Display style or underscore I J equals zero. If not, row I does not equal J A I J minus A J I minus a I does not equal J A I J minus a two display style row equivalent frac sum underscore I N E Q J A underscore I J bar A A underscore G bar a sum underscore I N E Q J A underscore I J bar a carrot two where the average value a I does not equal J A I J N N Minus one equals L N N 
minus one Display style bar a equivalent frac sum underscore i n e q j a underscore i j n n one equals frac l n n one a display style bar a measures the ratio of observed to possible directed links link density and self-linking loops are now excluded from l because of i not equal to j. The definition can be written in the following simple form: rho equals r minus a one minus a display style rho equals frac r bar a one bar a. The new definition of reciprocity gives an absolute quantity which directly allows one to distinguish between reciprocal rho greater than zero display style rho greater than zero and anti-reciprocal rho zero display style rho networks with mutual links occurring more and less often than random, respectively. If all the links occur in reciprocal pairs, rho equals one, display style rho equals one. If r equals zero, rho equals rho min, display style rho equals rho underscore min. Rho m i n minus a one minus Display style row underscore min equivalent frac bar a one bar a. This is another advantage of using row display style row because it incorporates the idea that complete anti-reciprocal is more statistical significant in the networks with larger density, while it has to be regarded as a less pronounced effect in sparser networks. Topic: Reciprocity in real social networks. The reciprocity was analyzed in some real social networks by Gallows. 